morning, everyone. Wherever you at on the other side of this camera, welcome to another Coffee Break episode. Excited to release another video. Um, thank you to all those who have been watching, subscribing, leaving comments. I appreciate you. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe, hit that bell icon so you can be notified on new videos that I would be releasing just like this one. Today, today, I wanna talk about a quick little topic. Are your windows cracked open? Think about that for a second. So as I was thinking about this topic, I was thinking about how, how we sometimes we're not aware of who we're allowing in into our lives and into our homes um and by just leaving the crack of the window open that's just enough opportunity to give somebody else an intruder an impasta to just come in and kind of like ruin your life it may not probably happened right away but that little crack in the window becomes a bigger crack and then you just left it full blown open and you know you just opened up an opportunity not for yourself but for other people to just enter in, into your place right and deposit things in your life that they shouldn't be you know depositing or you shouldn't never received in your home to begin with right so when I was thinking about this it was just it just made me think about how how slick right um, the enemy can be when we just give him a little bit of room right just give him a little bit of room to enter in and I really thought that this topic was important because I think you have to be careful, right, of who you're letting in your circle, who you're letting, who you're even letting into your house, right? I'm even careful of who comes into my home, right? I don't just want anybody in my house and just random people. I'm a sociable person. I love being around people. But when it comes to my house, I'm very selective as to who comes into my home because I may know certain people, but I don't know the intent of, of, you know, what's the hidden agenda behind what they do or, or, or why they want to be close to me or why they want to, you know, be in my circle and all that other stuff. I'm pretty sure you understand what I'm talking about. So what I wanted to highlight today was, are your windows cracked open? Are you seeing things maybe happening in your life that you're like, what the heck is going on? Like, why, why am I not, you know, progressing? Why is certain things just like hindering me? You may want to check your windows to see if you have them cracked open. And if you do, that could be the reason, right? Who are you letting into your home? Um, what, what are, what are the, the, the things you're allowing in your home? Who are the friends you're allowing into your circle? Because just because they say they're your friends and just because they say, you know what I mean? I'm um, chill, I got this cool idea, I got this, this is the third, doesn't mean that, that they mean well for you. They may have hidden agendas, but that's why it's so important for us to be prayed up, asking the Lord to guide us and lead us, because we don't know the heart of man, right? The Bible says only God knows the heart of man, and that is what he's going to look at. So what we have to be praying for is that the Lord illuminate us, give us the discernment that we need so we can know who's who, right? Not that we're judging people. Is that there's people out there that, that they don't want to see you grow. And you just give them a small little open window and that is enough for them to just like enter in and just make a whole mess in your life. And you may not see it, but everything that's happening around you is kind of like getting in, in a mess and that's your... That's kind of like the, the flag to kind of look at and be like, what's going on here? Like, what, what do I got going on? You know, who's, who's been in my house lately more than usual? 
Who have I been letting in more than usual? Who have I been sharing a lot of my ideas and a lot of my secrets to, you know, more than usual? So keep an eye with that, you know, keep an eye on that and and be aware, you know, of your surroundings, be aware of of your home, especially, especially your home. Your home is so sacred. Your home is so is it, such a place, you know, for you and your family, especially if you're married and you have kids. Right. That's that's a, a, a place that you want to um, keep an eye for. Right. And you got to look at all these spaces. Maybe your living room window is closed but your bedroom window is slightly open your guest room window is slightly open so what am i trying to say here i'm not trying to say like go ahead and physically look at your windows even though you do got to be careful you can't just leave your window open depending on the area you live or whatever but nowadays you could live in a good area and you know still something can can happen so um that's not what i'm trying to say what i'm trying to say is you know, who are you letting into your life, right? Don't give them, uh, uh, don't allow that crack in the window to be that that space you give to somebody else to kind of like mess up your life, mess up your family's life, mess up your friendships uh, and relationships and whatnot. So uh, like every Coffee Break episode, if there's one thing you could take from this, be careful. Be careful who you let in into your life, into your home and and make sure that your friendships are solid uh, friendships that they're gonna be there to not deposit good into you but they are gonna want to see you grow and excel in life right if you got somebody in your life that wants you to be at the same level that they're in it's not for you you know like my brother always says right he says if you're the smartest person in the room it's time to move on. And that's a good statement because we always want to grow. We always want to be elevating ourselves. And if we're not around other people that are doing bigger and greater things, then you're kind of like going to be in the, you're going to like plateau somewhere and you're just going to be in that same level until you decide to, to make a change and, and a, an adjustment, right? Not maybe a full blown change, but just an adjustment in your life. Um, so with that being said, keep an eye, check your windows, make sure you're not giving an opportunity for somebody else to come in and deposit, you know, uh, negative things and, and, and take you to a place where you're not going to grow. So enjoy your day, wherever you are, have your cup of coffee. If you haven't bought a cup of coffee yet, the links is in the description of this video. Great Coffee, gr 8 coffeeco Yeah, whole beans, ground, however you like it. That is our sponsor for today and is always sponsoring our Coffee Break episodes. God bless you and we'll see you in the next one. Mm -hmm.